Hey everyone! Let's get started with Playwright using the VS Code extension. Now, I've already created a folder called Getting Started. There's nothing inside it, and I've just opened it up in VS Code. Now, from here, I'm going to use the VS Code extension to install Playwright. So, first, let's go to the extensions and search for Playwright. And this will give us all the extensions available. So, make sure we look for the one that is verified by Microsoft. From here, you can install Playwright Test for VS Code. As you can see, I already have it installed. And then we can install Playwright, opening the command panel and typing in Install Playwright. You can see this is recently used, so it's coming up here for me. Once I click this, it's going to then ask me which browsers I want to install. Now, at Playwright, we can test across all browsers. So I can choose all of them, or I can specifically only have Chromium or Firefox or WebKit. For now, I'm going to leave them all set. Now, we use TypeScript by default, but if you don't want to use TypeScript, you can use JavaScript by just clicking here. However, we highly recommend you use TypeScript as it does give you better IDE support, and you don't need any TypeScript experience in order to write your test with the TS extension. And this is one of my favorites, add a GitHub Actions workflow. So just by leaving this checked, you can have a GitHub Actions workflow, meaning your tests will run on GitHub on every push and pull request. Now, if you're not using GitHub, Playwright works on any other um, continuous integration, so no problem at all. Let's press OK and let Playwright install everything that it needs to install, all the browsers and everything else. And there we go. Happy hacking. Let's take a look at what was installed. So over here in our files, we can see our GitHub folder. We've got that Playwright YAML file where on push or on pull request on branches, main or master, it's going to install dependencies, install the Playwright browsers, and then it's going to run the Playwright tests. So that just works for us, amazing. Node modules folder containing everything it needs to contain. And then the test folder. Now this is the main folder that we're gonna use for adding all our tests. We have an example test in here, which we'll come back to in a second. So basically make sure you're writing your tests in your test folder. We also have a test examples folder. And in here we have a demo to do app and all the tests written for that. And you can uh, check those out in your own time and play those tests as well by literally just uh, putting this into the test folder and then you'll be able to run those tests like we will do with this one in a second. And we got our git ignore and then our package JSON, which will show us the version of Playwright installed and then our Playwright config. Now, we don't really need to do much with the Playwright config because everything works out of the box. But in case you did need to do something like require.env or maybe you want to change those projects um, and remove Firefox or add it if you didn't already have it or add a Pixel 5 device or an iPhone 12 or MS Edge for specific uh, browsers, or maybe you want to run a local dev server before starting the test. And you could just uncomment this out here and then it will set that up for you. Okay, let's get going and running our first test. So the example test, two very simple tests in here. What we're doing is we're importing test and expect from Playwright test. Now our first test basically is checking that it has a title. So it has a page fixture here, which is coming from Playwright and it's importing this in here. So we have access to it and we're basically saying await the page and then go to playwright.dev. So go to this URL and expect a title to contain a substring. So we're expecting that this page has a title of Playwright and this is like the meta title. So we'll look and see if that meta title contains the word Playwright. Now our next test uh, to make sure that the get started link goes to where it should go. So again, we import the page uh, fixture and then we await the page and then go to our URL and then we're going to click the get started link. So we're going to await page and then get by role. We're going to look for something on the page with a role of a link. We want the role links so a href equals, for example. And we want to make sure it has the name of get started. So the link should have the name or the accessible name of get started and then we're going to click it. And then we'll expect that the URL contains the intro. So we expect the page to have the URL of intro. So let's have a look. To run our tests, we can press this green triangle here, and this is gonna run our test for us. It's gonna open that browser window, run the test, and the test passed. 
So you can see here the test passed 1.1 seconds. Super fast. So the browser opened because I have show browser clicked here. Now, if you don't have this checked, then it's not going to open the browser. So make sure that's checked. And you can close all browsers at all times here um, or close it manually. So we're going to run the second test. Now, I could leave that browser open, but I want to show you how it's going to open up this browser so we can see it. So let's run this test now. And we open that browser again. And you just briefly saw that page, and then it went to that intro page. So that test, again, is passing super fast. Um, Playwright is too quick, and you miss it. So um, this is really cool. Now, what happens if we want to run our tests on another browser? We install those browsers. Well, maybe we want to install in Firefox. So we can select the default profile, come along here, and maybe say Chrome is by default, and we want Firefox instead. So we're going to run that. And I'm just going to close all browsers for now so we can see what's going on. And now I'm going to run my test again. And this time, the browser that's going to open up is the Firefox browser. And you can see that here. So there's our test running on Firefox. And again, we can do exactly the very same with WebKit. We can just select WebKit. And we can run our test. And this should open a browser with WebKit. Now, we scroll across here, this open on another window. So I'll just pull it across. And there we have our test run on WebKit. Again, we can run it on all layers by basically selecting all of them. And now it's going to run the test on all browsers. So now you're going to see it open up the Chrome one, go through that test, open up the Firefox one, it'll go through that test and open up WebKit and do that test. Again, when you're in development mode, you might not want all of those. Um, so probably just want to select Chrome and then later on, check on the others as you need. And that's how to get your tests running in Playwright. So see you in the next video for more. We'll go into debugging and then we'll go into generating tests. Uh, happy testing, have fun.